I think it's a fair question to ask from myself. Was I influenced to buy this thing? Do I really need it? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and on this channel we discuss designer fashion, luxury, lifestyle stuff as well, but more from a practical and sensible point of view. Today we're going to talk about the Louis Vuitton mini pochette accessoire. I'm just going to call it mini pochette from now on because my pronunciation of the last word is terrible. But basically this one that everyone, everyone wants and needs to have and Louis Vuitton is always sold out, etc. Um, I will show you six different ways how to use it, basically what fits into it. I will also discuss uh, does it fit a phone? Can you wear it as a mini bag? Um, as well as compare it to other popular Louis Vuitton items, just so that you get the idea of how big it actually is, because my hand could be giant or it could be very tiny. So some, some forms and shapes that you might recognize, so you would maybe get a grip how much it actually fits, um, how it compares to, to the other products. Um, as well as just kind of discuss, should you get this as well? So let's get started. Before we get into the actual video, it would be great if you would hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Basically come back here. I post new videos on Mondays and Thursdays. It would be great to see you here then. Okay, shall we first start with the basic, what I have in my bag or pochette or pouch or whatever. So this is the first of the six ways how to use it. I will show what I usually carry in it. So you get some kind of idea what, what it fits. Zip. This is what it looks like. So I do have one lipstick. This happens to be the Hermes one that I unboxed some, some videos ago. I will link it here. A small perfume. This is a Christian Dior sample, if you believe it or not, which is quite substantial. I have a hair tie, lip balm, AirPods, hand sanitizer, two kind of wet wipes thingies, and two bobby pins. So I actually do use it as a catch-all as you probably can tell. Um, I use this in my bag to host all of those stuff. And um, yeah, now we can actually have a look at it where it looks like empty. So it has like a fabric lining, a brown fabric lining and um, zipper here. It says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. Maybe you can read it. Uh, sorry, if not, it comes with this chain that you can attach from one side to do whatever you want. You can attach it here and kind of have it like this, or you can attach this to your bags because Louis Vuitton tends to put D rings in quite many places. So you can kind of hook this up there, or then you can attach it here to maybe have it like kind of a wristlet. I'll have photos. Um, personally, as I use this as a catch-all and not really as a bag, I tend to put it like this, so then it's out of the way, pretty much. Um, just before we get going uh, with the what else could you use this for, I have an iPhone 11 cover here because I'm filming with my phone, but just so you know that an iPhone 11 would not fit into this, so I'll just show you no. So, so if you have an iPhone 11, it will not fit. But I used to have an iPhone 8. So here is the cover because I don't use it anymore and I've sold it already. So that fits. So obviously without the cover, it will be even smaller. So that would mean iPhone 7 and 6 as well. So if you have a smaller phone, it will, will fit into that as well. Second way how to use this would be as a tech pouch. So here is kind of a, a adapter that I have from my Mac because Mac doesn't really have a lot of these uh, plugins. So I'll just put that one into the bottom. Here you go. Just 
just if you need to plug something on the wall. If you want to um, load your phone, USB drive. It would fit other stuff as well, but this kind of closes up nicely. It doesn't bulk from anywhere. So a second way would be to fit tech stuff. Alrighty. Third way would be to have this as a mini catch-all for your keys and money, for instance. So here is a Louis Vuitton key pouch. You might have your keys in here. It fits. And here is a Rosalie coin purse if you would have your cards, etc. in there. So both of them do fit inside well. Zip it up, you're good to go. So for instance, like this, if you would kind of just go and do some errands, you could have this as, as a mini bag, for instance, just to keep up your valuables. So this would still fit, let's say, let's try with a lipstick. No, that's too much, but with a lip balm. So it kind of slide in there. And um, if you would want to use it as crossbody, just take a separate chain and uh, just attach it basically to these two two rings. And then you could have it as crossbody. And obviously if you have the smaller phone as well, then you don't need anything else. So that was the third way. Fourth, you could have it as like kind of a small makeup case that you have with you. So I have a powder, compact powder, some hand cream, lipstick, perfume. So I would assume with this, you're good to go during the daytime. Um, it would probably fit something else as well, um, but I'm not gonna push it. So um, you could also kind of have it as a on the go makeup case, pouch, whatever. Uh, just to show you guys uh, what, here I have like a um, eyeshadow palette, which is pretty much this size. And it does fit in here. And I'll test it with the Chanel powder. So they do also fit. Obviously now you can see the corners a bit more. But if you would need to have like a bigger makeup palette as well, this actually would host that as well. Sixth way is to have it as kind of a small overnight case or kind of small overnight pouch if you would want to. So tweezers, hair comb, some um, cotton buds, a small mirror, a nail file, more cotton pads. I have some toothpaste over here. Let's see at what point I'm not yet gonna put it in. I have some makeup remover, then the toothpaste like that. Closes, there is still some room actually. So maybe you would want to take the hand cream to use as some kind of body cream on the go, I don't know, and still closes. Um, if you don't, if you bring your toothpaste somewhere else, I also have this kind of small shampoo and then conditioner. So if you would need to wash your hair, let's see how this goes. It is a bit stretching, but they do fit. So if you would want to use this as an overnight case, if you have a very small bag to go, then you could take this one and be creative in what you need with you. Then I thought to also show you what else you kind of could fit into this if, if need to be. So here is the Chanel hand cream. We have seen this on this channel, probably making an appearance in almost every video, but just so that you know, it pops in. And here is kind of a hair thingy, quite big. So they do fit in there actually quite comfortably. So if you would need to bring these more bulkier items with you. Um, and just as a kind of size comparison, if you are curious, this is a Louis Vuitton perfume, the 100 ml bottle. So obviously it is taller from that side, but 
it does fit in. I don't know why anyone would do this. I don't even know why it came into my mind, but here, here you can see that you could put a 100 ml perfume bottle in here as well if you needed to do that. Now, let's have a bit of a kind of size comparison or how does the mini pochette compare to other popular or famous Louis Vuitton items. So we already had a look on this key pouch. It fits in, obviously it's smaller. Um, here is also the Rosalie coin purse. It fit in, so it is smaller. I have the Louis Vuitton round coin purse. It is kind of a good size, but still slips in, can close, no issue. So if you would have like some more odd shaped items or, or big coin purses, it will fit. Just as a comparison, I have a card holder in here. So obviously there would be plenty of space if you would be using a card holder. In, in this one. I have my Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch PM with me. So this will get interesting. Let's see if I try to put this in into the cosmetic case. So it does actually fit in there and it zips up. No issue. So I mean, I think it's quite obvious that the cosmetic pouch is bigger, but here is just a kind of visual effect on what it looks like when um, comparing to this cosmetic pouch PM. I also have the toiletry uh, 26. Quite obvious that it is smaller, but I know that some people tend to use these as clutches. So, just for those who might be curious, I mean, there is obviously plenty of space in here uh, and you're good to go, but I, I use this for toiletries, so I'm not really using it as a clutch, but it, it would fit if you were wondering. And the final comparison is with the Neverfull clutch pouch that comes with it. So obviously the pouch is bigger, but it's very flat. So let's see what happens. So it does go in there. Um, it closes. Would not know why you would do this, but if you would have the need, it will fit definitely in there. Finally, we're getting into the review point. So I have had this for I think four years, a bit over four years now. And um, when it was basically when I started with my obsession with Louis Vuitton and it was just like everyone were saying, obviously in the virtual world, not in my reality, um, were just kind of raving on about this mini pochette. And we're just like, you need it. That was the message overall. And I did buy it. At that time, it cost 205 euros, I think. Um, and I did buy it from Sweden, where the Swedish crown compared to euro wasn't that strong. So I was able to save a couple of euros buying it from there. But anyway, I was, I kind of, I already felt the need to buy this. So I was, um, when I got it, I was super happy because obviously I was able to get it um, from my first try. So it was the first time I ever went into the boutique and asked. They had it in stock in this monogram. And um, yeah, I was really happy to get it. I started using it daily in my work bag where I just hosted basically just some miscellaneous items that I'm still using it for, for that reason. And to be honest, while today, it, this is, I think, 300 euros or even maybe a bit over. Um, why would you pay that much money on a small pouch? I mean, if you use this as a handbag, fair enough. Um, if you are into that very, very tiny mini bag trend, okay, I get it. Use it as kind of a 
crossbody bag or then have it as a kind of clutch to grab and go when you, you do your errands. But as a kind of catch-all in a bag to host all the small, small stuff, I'm not sure if it's worth any more. Like the price point is kind of getting a bit ridiculous for, for this size of a product, especially now that um, of course my choice what phone I have, but it wouldn't even fit my phone. So to have this as a mini bag would not be an option for me <laughs> at this point. Um, so, and I find it a bit annoying that you cannot remove this chain from it. So if you would want to use it as a bag, it would just kind of be hanging, hanging with you, or then you could just kind of tie it to the other side and have it, um, looping over here. But I would say that if you are like a collector, obviously it's going to be worth it for you and no judgment here. And by the way, these are all my opinions. Uh, I don't mean to offend anyone. And if you get like a hundred percent more usage out of this, what I do, I mean, I'm, I'm jealous because I own this one and I've been contemplating selling it for, for some time, but then the price goes up. Uh, on Louis Vuitton and I'm like maybe not maybe not yet because I, I think that I got a pretty good deal back then uh, when I bought it and I don't want to regret it because I would never in a million years repurchase it with these prices so um, I've just I'm not yet kind of letting go of it um, but it's just if you enjoy having your small stuff in a luxury designer pouch in your bag and you actually get joy out of it when you open your bag and, and it's there, you can see the monogram, then it's worth it. 100% totally worth it because these should be enjoyed. Like obviously we buy this stuff because they bring us joy, uh, hopefully in a healthy way and not, not in an obsessive way but uh, they should bring us joy. And, and when we wear them, we should feel like, oh, I have that one, that's so great. Um, and I'm not entirely sure if I, if I feel that joy right now, it might come back later, but I would say that unless you plan to actually use this as a kind of um, the outer bag or outer clutch, um, I don't think it's worth it because you can find nice looking pouches to host your stuff inside your bag that doesn't need to cost the <laughs> the coin that this does um and i'm just i do understand that this is super durable this is forever um i've had this for four years and outside of the vachetta having a bit of a patina nothing has happened to it like there is no signs of usage and uh, prior to the past 12 years, uh, when I went to work every day and I had a bag, I had this in my bag. So it might have been kind of rubbing against um, the bag and stuff in the bag. There is like nothing on it. So from the durability point of view, it is amazing. It's no issues with that. But if you're only planning on using it for a pouch, to host miscellaneous items and you don't feel the joy by investing this money in a small leather good or a small canvas good, um, I would suggest that you save up the money to buy a bag. Because in my opinion, bags bring so much more joy than, than these things. But obviously that just... <laughs> for me and not necessarily for you. So take my opinion as you want. Um, this was just kind of a, a quick, I don't know, ramble about whether you should buy this or not. And probably I did not even give you an answer. So maybe it's time to kind of um, do something else right now. That was it. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.